have it. Um, another Amazing adventure. biochar <laughs> cookstove. <laughs> um, made from whatever junk materials we could find lying around, um, including this canister, which is a nice canister. Um, this is going to be the main burn chamber. The idea, it's like a top-loading updraft burner. So we have holes in the bottom, and we load the material that's going to be the biochar inside. The main load that's actually going to become the biochar is always loaded below these air um, holes here. And the idea is when it burns, so uh, this part that you can see sticking out is just my way of kick-starting the fire. So the idea of this is this is just like any ordinary fire whenever you're making like a campfire. So this is just to get the embers going. Once that gets going, then uh, it's going to suck out all the oxygen from underneath. So theoretically, it should then start to smoke. But because we've got holes in at the bottom, maybe see a few holes here somewhere. Um, the holes here should bring in some oxygen, and so it will feed it from underneath and therefore it will keep the burn going. But what we don't want is we don't actually want the wood to burn. What we want to do is we actually want this uh, smoke to be released and for that smoke, which is effectively a gas, we want that to burn. So we then deprive the bottom, uh, deprive it of oxygen from the bottom, which then forces oxygen to come in from here. So the bottom oxygen they call the primary inlet of oxygen and this is our secondary inlet of oxygen. We then want to somehow force this air to mix with the, the gas uh, and then with the, the embers it should ignite. So effectively we're going to do that by using this. So we'll put this on top um, and effectively we'll then force the only outlet from it to come through this chimney and so because it's now being forced to go through a smaller air hole it mixes the oxygen with the uh, the gas and with the embers and now the gas will burn so this at this point we then have a really 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 hot burn um, so the next piece that we've made here is this and this is the uh, for the, the pad support so basically on here we can um, basically put a cook pot of some description so that and um, we've got these rebars going through so when the flame hits the bottom of the pan instead of splaying off and going to the side and heating air it's going to be forced to come up by the sides and therefore heat the sides as well as the bottom of the pan. So it'll heat up very, 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 very quickly. Um, so that's the idea. And then, because one of the problems we have with, uh, with these systems, or the ones that I've made in the past, is that I can't, we can't really control the air. We can't control the flame. So what I'm thinking, or what we've done here, is we've made this lovely little system. Thank you for all the great guys and gals who helped to make this with um, we've got this system which allows us to you can see that control how much oxygen comes in from the bottom so I'm hoping I've never tested this before but my theory is or the theory is that if we control the amount of oxygen that comes in it should lower the flame and hopefully we can control it a little bit better than normal that's the theory. Let's give it a go. So, who's the fire starter? There's always a fire starter in any group. Who's the pyromaniac? <laughs> <Go ahead. Empty>. <laughs> <laughs> we should elect the pyromaniac. Yeah. Yeah.
for the sake of the video, maybe it's worth taking a photo of all the lovely people here who helped to uh, <laughs> construct this. All the amazing help from all these people, thank you all very much. For all the technical help and emotional and Emotional. Yeah. 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 man. Yeah. Yeah. Man with all the tools. Da 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 da. We had an emotional half. Okay, that be a really emotional. I think it's smaller than this one. Sometimes you start the burn from the bottom of the wood, the firewood. The difference when you start from the top and when you start from the bottom. The wood will burn. From the top down, it burns slower and it gives up much more heat. From the bottom, you can dry the wood. So if you start making fire with a big wet wood, then you start the burn from the bottom. When you want to learn to burn really long time, then you start it from the top. So if you look at the kind of self-feeding rocket heaters, you know, you're kind of you're dropping it, uh, the wood into the burn chamber, and so the flame is here, and that dries the wood here, which means that no matter how wet that wood is, it's going to be... Uh, I've done it with fresh wood straight off of a tree, about this thick, a um, metre and a half long, took an hour and a half for those trees to, to burn through. So obviously it's, it was just raining, so a lot of this wood is, is wet. Um, okay, so it's going to smoke a little bit, that's no problem. But once it really starts getting going, once we put that chamber on top, Mm -hmm. Only I, the main purpose of having all this wood on the top is just to get a flame going so that the tips of the ones underneath, the, the part that's actually going to turn to biochar, at least get uh, start to get um, burning. So there's a bit of uh, like embers going. So the only purpose of this is, this is kind of sacrificial. We burn that just to start that off. I say other people use kerosene and stuff like that, which, no. <laughs> We probably didn't need this much wood to start it off with, but that's fine. So the next time, uh, let's say whatever it needs to just kick start it. Yeah, it's not really working with uh, really compacted uh, burning material, so you cannot use sawdust or anything like really tiny pieces because it has to have air. Yeah, it has to pass through. Yeah, I mean, I've done it with some very, not the finest sawdust, but, um, so yeah, so as long as it's not too compacted, and then it's kind of layered, so one layer of something, a layer of the sawdust, a layer of something else, yeah. and that works, yeah. as long as you say the air from the bottom can initially get through, that's your main worries, but once the, uh, um, once that part of the burn's done, then it doesn't matter, because actually the oxygen's coming from the top. What is the view of put uh, glowing uh, yeah, charcoal on top of it? To start it? Yeah. That would be interesting. 
I mean, with something like sawdust or something like that. stink the first time because all the, the paint is gonna burn off. Ready? Yep, put it on. Put it on. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. Careful. Can you hear that? Oh. Son. That's it. Who's gonna time it? Yeah. 